it's one of the, the important thing of John Torrey Cancer Center. You see an expert every time you come. The, the size of our blood cancer program is such that we actually have four divisions dedicated to these blood cancers. One is in multiple myeloma, bone marrow transplant, leukemia, and lymphoma. Even though we are very specialized in what we do at John Thura Cancer Center, that doesn't mean we are isolated from our colleagues in adjacent fields. As a matter of fact, that's where the relatively small size of the building um, helps you know, to foster close contacts. We're almost always only a few steps away, literally, you know, from talking and interacting and communicating with your colleagues and other disease groups. If you look around the staff here at John Thura Cancer Center, you have lots of staff coming from other big academic institutions who are similar to myself and to want to bring their experience and their ambitions, ideas into John Thura Cancer Center. We have hundreds of clinical trials that allow us to offer each patient innovative approaches. We can almost fit the, the drug to the nature of the patient, and if it's a drug that causes this particular set of side effects, and we don't think that that would be a good fit, we have something else that, that we can try. We also have access to what we call CAR T-cells, which are mod gene-modified T-cells, but a lot of no other novel therapies that we call checkpoint inhibitors that help unleash the immune system. All of this will be a very important part in the changes that are happening in oncology. I find that John Thura Cancer Center um, access to decision makers to be much more direct. We get to studies more easily, get them through faster. We kind of implement them faster, so they may come faster from a planning stage or a writing stage to actual patient care. Good morning. Hey, Dr. Wong. How are you? As much as I love the science and the research and the progress, I think it's also part of my role to make sure that we keep the human aspect of things. Squeeze my fingers. Okay. Well, there's a sense of a community and there's a sense of sharing together the journey and try to make our patients better. Uh, you had an MRI of the neck? Yeah. So Ron presented with a very unusual form of lymphoma. This is a form of lymphoma that patients are very sick. They sometimes have unusual manifestations of their disease and they sometimes don't get recognized right away and diagnosed. So when he came to see us, thanks to our expertise, we were able, when he walked in the room, to recognize this was not a standard type of lymphoma. Because it is a disease that responds only briefly to aggressive chemotherapy, we actually proceeded with a bone marrow transplant with a donor right away, and he has done very well ever since. Doing very well, you're very lucky cured of this lymphoma. Oh, that's great. All right. The way that we get the opportunity to see the disease here at the John Thurow Cancer Center is, I think, much different because of this intimacy of relationship. You see the, the disease as a, almost this living, breathing thing. I mean, you know, you're sitting there with your ally, with your patient, and there's this uh, enemy at, at the gate that you understand better than other people do, maybe better than anybody does. You feel good, dude. I feel good. When you see in people's eyes, the staff in the clinic, how happy they are when a patient is doing well. I think it's a really great feeling. And I think there's nothing better as a team that's saving someone's life, period.